Here they come. And they're off. That's Lemon Marengo going for the lead. Ivy Nicole left. Rain Dance Legacy left. They race into the first turn, and Lemon Marengo has the lead in pylon position. Ivy Nicole will drop in second. Every Woman is third, and Ivy Nicole will not drop in second. Tietrich bypasses the two hole and goes to the front and gets it. Lemon Marengo will be in the pocket in a second by three and a half. Up on the outside, Rain Dance Legacy moves up in third. Every Woman gaps early in fourth. Then it's two and a half lengths to fifth, where he find K Cam Cam Kate Bond. First quarter was in, 28 and two fifths. Up the back stretch they go. Ivy Nicole has the lead by two and three quarters. Lemon Marengo is second by three and a half. Rain Dance Legacy is third by two and a quarter. Every woman is fourth by two. Cam Cam Kate Bond moves first over in fifth. Second over six goes Gold Pearls. Third over seventh, Fox Valley Rolex. Fourth over in eighth, Flow Nice and Easy. Fifth over ninth, Tony Hall by three and a half. Just a rumor is the trailer. Breaking at the half was Ivy Nicole. Ivy Nicole's on a break. So everyone will inherit a spot until Ivy Nicole gets back on stride. The half was due in 57 and 4, 29 and 2 for the second quarter. On the inside, it's Lemon Marengo up on the outside. Rain Dance Legacy is the challenger in second. Every Woman is third by three. Up on the outside, Cam Cam Cape Bomb is fourth. And now losing ground once again is Ivy Nicole as they turn for home. On the outside, Rain Dance Legacy takes a narrow lead. Three quarters, one, 28 and one, 30 and two for the third quarter. Along the inside, Lemon Marengo is fighting back. Right alongside, Rain Dance Legacy, three deep. Every Woman moves up for the lead. On the far outside, coming on is Gold Pearls, eighth of a mile to go. Every woman now the leader. Gold Pearls on the outside, way on the outside. Here comes Fox Valley Rolex, but time is running out. It's every woman, Fox Valley Rolex between horses, Gold Pearls, a driving finish. It may have been Gold Pearls in a three horse photo in 157. And they're off. That's Perfect Print going for the lead. Fox Valley Francis along the inside, and Perfect Print will get an easy lead and leads it by a length and a half. Fox Valley Francis is second by two and a half. Corzadios is third. Max Golden Cam is fourth. Fox Valley Trebon is fifth, and Javin Miss Daisy is the trailer. A very reasonable pace being set early by Perfect Print, who leads it by two lengths, and she is under a good grip. In the pocket second is Fox Valley Francis, first quarter in 28 and 2. The leader is perfect print by two and a quarter. In pursuit second, Fox Valley Francis by two and a half. Corzadios is third by that margin. Max Golden Cam is fourth by almost two and three quarters. Fox Valley Trebon is fifth. And Jive and Miss Daisy is the trailer. They head to the half mile marker. And Pat Berry still has a good grip of perfect print. They lead it a length and a half. Fox Valley Francis in line for a perfect trip is second. Corzadios is third. Max Golden Cam is fourth. The first to pull. Jive and Miss Daisy takes over fifth. Fox Valley Trebon is the trailer. 57 seconds for the half. 28 and three for the second quarter. Perfect print unmolested thus far. Leads it by two. Fox Valley Francis is second. Jive and Miss Daisy first over into third. Corzadios on the inside fourth. Fox Valley Trebon second over in fifth. And the trailer now, Max Golden Cam. They approach the top of the stretch. Pat Berry pops the earplugs of Perfect Print. Right now, she didn't react yet. Three quarters, 125 and four, 28 and four for the third quarter. Perfect Print on the inside, up on the outside. Here comes Jive and Miss Daisy, and Jive and Miss Daisy takes the lead. Perfect Print between horses, up the inside. Fox Valley Francis behind her to the open stretch is Coors Adios. On the outside of horses, Fox Valley Trebon. Perfect Print drops out of it, 16th of a mile to go. Jive and Miss Daisy along the inside. Coors Adios is charging. Coors Adios gets it. Jive and Miss Daisy, second. Off stride is Harmony Oaks' Nick. They're off on the far outside. That's Begin the Bubbly going for the lead. Springtown left. Milady left from the inside. Nikki's Game left. They're into the first turn. And along the inside, Nikki's Game has the early lead. Springtown moves up on the outside second. Milady comes away in third. Victory Lane is fourth. Then it's Raise the Dead, who left to come away in fifth, dropping in sixth. Begin the Bubbly in front of El Grande Paco is seventh by two and a half. 
in eighth goes Desiree Hall, another two to ninth. Find Chevy Equinox by two and a half, trotting but trailing after the miscue. Harmony Oaks Nick, first quarter, 30 and one fifth. They head to the three eighths mile marker and up on the outside. Milady's moving up for the lead. Springtown is second and yielding by two and a half. The early leader, Nikki's game, is third. Trotting in fourth is Victory Lane. In fifth to the half goes Raise the Dead by two and a half. Begin the bubblies on the inside six. First up in seventh, Desiree Hall squeezing to the outside in eighth was El Grande Paco. Then on the inside ninth, Harmony Oaks Nick jammed up and making a break with Chevy Equinox. And now he's back on his proper gate. The half was through in 59 and 1, 29 seconds for the second quarter. And Nikki's game has quickly moved up for the lead. On the inside, Milady racing in second. Left uncovered into thirds, a first over victory lane. Up on the outside, raise the dead second over into fourth. Along the inside, Springtown's fifth. Opening up by four now is Nikki's game. Three quarters, 128 and four, 29 and three for the third quarter. Making a break at the top of the stretch, El Grande Paco. They've got a little more than an eighth of a mile to go, and Nikki's game has moved out to a half dozen length lead. Victory lane is second. On the outside of horses, Springtown up the inside is Milady, but it is all Nikki's game. She clobbers this field, wins by many. Victory Lane second, Springtown third and one, 58 and one. And they're off on the far outside. Pudroyan Phillies going for the lead. Peekaboo Avenue left sharply along the inside. Fashion Fanny. They race into the first turn, and Peekaboo Avenue's on the inside, but up on the outside, Pudroyan Philly moves up for the lead. Peekaboo Avenue is second. Fashion Fanny is third by a widening two and three quarters, now three. Then it's Lyrics Delight in fourth, followed in fifth by Queen Johnny K. Della Lady is sixth, Park seventh, Gray Satin, trailing on the inside, Baby, one more time. They race by the first quarter, a flat 29 seconds. Foudroy and Philly by a length and a quarter. Peekaboo Avenue is second, a tight third is Fashion Fanny. Then it's two and three quarter lengths to Lyrics Delight in fourth, two and a half to Queen Johnny K, fifth. Della Lady moves to the outside in six. Second over in seventh goes Gray Satin. And the trailer to the outside goes Baby one more time. And now going back to the inside was Gray Satin. Out of third is Fashion Fanny. They went by the half mile marker in 58 and 3, 29 and 3 for the second quarter. An easy first half for Fedroy and Philly, who leads it by a length. Fashion Fanny on the rim second. Peekaboo Avenue in the pocket third. Della Lady second over in fourth. Lyrics Delight with an opportunity to move to third over position in fifth. Parked in six, baby one more time. Then on the inside, seventh, Queen Johnny K gaps. And the trailer is Grace Satin, who now starts to come out of last. They turn for home. It's Foudroy and Philly on the inside. Fashion Fanny up on the outside. Three quarters, 128 flat. 29 and 2 for the third quarter. Foudroy and Philly, the leader by a length and a quarter. In the pocket, Peekaboo Avenue. Alongside, it's Fashion Fanny. Three deep and coming on is Della Lady. Eighth of a mile to go. Foudroy and Philly, the leader, a length and a half. Three deep and trying to gain is Della Lady. Along the inside, Peekaboo Avenue. Between horses, Fashion Fanny. Foudroy and Philly in front. Della Lady, second, tight for third between Peekaboo Avenue. Here they come. Off strides the seven civil service. The seven's on a break. And they're off. That sea frenzy on the far outside going for the lead along the inside. Steamy night followed by Gal Secret floating out of the gate. Black and red. They're into the first turn. And sea frenzy is fastest of all. Steamy night is second. Gal Secret is third. Black and red settled in fourth. It's two and three quarter lengths to Striking Angel in fifth. Two more to Victorious Babe in six. LB Mighty is seventh by three. Miss Gator is eighth. And then it's about 10 lengths to a breaking civil service. They rent by the first quarter, 29 and three fifths. And the leader by two lengths is C Frenzy. Out of the pocket is the chalk, Steamy Knight. And Steamy Knight's gonna move up for the lead. C Frenzy along the inside is second. It's two and a half lengths to Gal Secret in third. Three and a quarter to fourth finds black and red as Steamy Knight is moving to take the lead. It's about five and a half lengths to an uncovered LB Mighty in fifth. Striking Angel gaps in six by two. Victorious Babe is seventh. 
Then it's five and a half lengths to eighth where it's Miss Gator and trotting, but no, yes, trotting, but distance, civil service. 59 and three for the half, 30 seconds for the second quarter. With three-eighths of a mile to go, Steamy Knight has the lead by a length and three-quarters. See, Frenzy is second. Up on the outside, LB Mighty's first over third. Gal Secret along the inside is fourth. Striking Angel moves up on the outside in fifth. Shuffled six, black and red, third over seventh, and now moving three wide. Here comes Dean McGee with Victorious Babe. Three quarters, 130 and three, 31 seconds for the third quarter, and Steamy Knight leads it by two and a half lengths. Sea Frenzy is second, up the inside. That's Gal's Secret. Black and red is there along the inside. Through the stretch comes Miss Gator at mid-stretch. It's Steamy Knight leading it by three and a half lengths. It's going to be a battle for second. Steamy Knight under wraps, draws away, coming to the wire. Gal's Secret was second. It was tight for third between Black and Red and Miss Gator in two minutes and two-fifths. And they're off. I believe it's true is going for the lead. Red Stingray left along the inside. Buckhorn Fighter, GW Sport left. And on the far outside, Richest Little Devil left. They're into the first turn and moving up for the lead. I believe it's true. Red Stingray's in the pocket second. Then it's Buckhorn Fighter in third by two and a half. A bit rank in fourth, Matt's a Mac. Followed in fifth by GW Sport. Dropping in six was Richest Little Devil. Then it's two and a half lengths to Fox Valley Slam it in seventh. That same margin to eighth where it's Fox Valley Kelvin in ninth to the quarter and past it is life in my day. And the trailer to the first quarter and past it is I am whatever you say I am. And out of ninth was life in my day. First quarter past that quarter. First puller past the quarter was 29 and two. The leader by a length and a half, as I believe it's true, at the back of the pack. Life of my day is on the move at the quarter. Red Stingray's in the pocket, second. Buckhorn Fighter is third by two and a half. Matsamak is fourth. Moving up in fifth, a so first over, richest little devil. Then on the inside, GW Sport is sixth. Halftime, 58 and three. 29 and one for the second quarter. I believe it's true, a length and a half. Red Stingray is second. Buckhorn Fighter on the inside is third. Richest Little Devil is on the move in fourth and flushed out Red Stingray from the pocket. And Red Stingray moves up for the lead. I believe it's true is second. Up on the outside, Richest Little Devil is third. Along the inside, Buckhorn Fighter is fourth. Three wide in fifth as they turn for home. That is life in my day. Three quarters, 127 flat. 28 and 2 for the third quarter, and Red Stingray has taken over the lead and moves out by two and a half. I believe it's true, is second on the outside of horses. Life in my day towards the inside, Buckhorn Fighter. In between horses, Rich's Little Day on the far outside. It's Fox Valley Kelvin. Pat Berry goes to work on Red Stingray, and it's Red Stingray in front. Then it was Life in my. And they're off. That silhouette star going for the lead. J Bo left along the inside. Bring it on Lindy left. As they race into the first turn, our cola floats out. So does Lady Lifter. They're into the first turn. And up on the outside, splitting rivals. Silhouette star takes the lead. J Bo is three deep. Pushing the pace along the inside is Bring it on Lindy as they head to the first quarter. And Silhouette star has pylon position. J Bo's parked in second, holding position on the inside is Bring It On Lindy. First quarter in 28 and 1 fifth. Up the back stretch they go. Silhouette star the leader, a pressured head. Alongside J Bo is second. And these two match strides to the three eighths. Two and three quarter lengths to Bring It On Lindy in third. That same margin to flirt and miss in fourth. Trotting in fifth goes just like Dream. And taking back up front on the rim was J Bo, but there are no seats. It's two and a half lengths to sixth position where it's Nana's best to the outside and seventh goes Victor's Pursuit. In the outer flow is Arcola. Then on the inside advancing Lithograft. Also in the outer flow Lady Lifter. Trailing on the inside is Artemisia Ambrosio. The half was through in 56 seconds. 27 and four for the second quarter. The leader by a length and a half. On the inside is Silhouette Star, quickly moving up. Flirt and Miss moves up in second. Moving three wide in third is Just Like Dream. It's a bunching field. Three quarters, 125 and four. 29 and four for the third quarter. Silhouette Star, the leader by a length. 
Flirt and miss in the two path, drifting out a little. On the far outside, closing ground is just like Dream. Way on the outside, here comes Victor's Pursuit. Down along the inside, Silhouette Star still has something more. Far outside, it's Victor's Pursuit. Victor's Pursuit on the far outside, and Silhouette Star towards the inside. Here's the wire. Victor's Pursuit in front. Silhouette Star second. Then it was just like Dream in third, and 155 and one, and that is. And they're off. That's Elba Crossanook and Johnson County both going for the lead along the inside. Art Peace. They race quickly into that first turn, and Elba Crossanook on the outside takes the lead. Johnson County is second. It's two and a half lengths to Art Peace in third. Followed two and a half lengths back and forth by Cabanero. Then it's two and three quarter lengths to Brandit's Bandit in fifth, and out of the pocket is Johnson County. Armbro Tipster is six by three and a quarter. Fantasy Fortune is seventh by two and three quarters. Mindy's Bad Boy is the trailer. First quarter in a brisk 27 and one. And Johnson County's on the lead that he loves and leads it a length and a quarter. And Osting hits the brakes. Albacross Anouk is second. Art Peace is third. Cabanero is fourth. Followed in fifth by Brandit's Bandit up on the outside. Fantasy Fortune first over into six. Mindy's Bad Boy second over into seventh. Shovel to last. Armbro Tipster getting a breather in the second quarter is Johnson County. Albacross Anouk in the pocket. Half and 57 seconds. 29 and four for the second quarter. Johnson County, the leader a length and a half. Albacross Anouk is second. Here's Fantasy Fortune first over third. Art Piece on the inside is fourth. Cabanero, no place to go in fifth. Third over sixth, Mindy's Bad Boy. Fourth over in seventh, Armbro Tipster, shovel to last, Brandit's Bandit. They approach the top of the stretch. Johnson County, the leader. In the pocket is Elba Crossanook. On the rim, Fantasy Fortune. Art Peace wants out of fourth. Three quarters, 125 and three. 28 and three for the third quarter. It's Johnson County, the leader, a length and a half. Elba Crossanook drives out of the pocket, drives back into the pocket because Art Peace is coming on. Eighth of a mile to go. Johnson County, the leader. Now Elba Crossanook's up the inside. On the outside, Art Peace. Cabanero is coming on. Way on the outside, Mindy's bad boy. It's Johnson County with the lead at the wire. Art P second. Cabanero was up for third in 153 and four. And they're off. That's Amber Gold going for the lead along the inside business ethics, followed by sports design, leaving but taking back gridiron. They're into the first turn, and business ethics has the lead. Sports design is second. Amber Gold finds a seat in third. Go for home is fourth. Dropping in fifth is gridiron. In front of you know who I am, who is sixth. In seventh is Trebuchet out of last and under a hole to try to throttle his advancement at this time is J.L. King Victor with Sam Widger. First quarter, 27 and four. Business ethics, the leader a length and a quarter. Sports design is second. Amber Gold is third by two. Go for home is fourth. First up, Gridiron is fifth. And skipping at the three-eighths mile marker is Trebuchet, second over into fifth. That's J.L. King Victor. Then on the inside, six, go for home. Third over seventh, you know who I am by three and a half. Trebuchet, pacing a little better, is the trailer and he's parked. Half and 57 seconds, 29 and 1 for the second quarter. Business ethics, uh, the leader now by two and a half lengths is Gridiron. Business ethics, the early leader, is now in second. JL King Victor's first over in third. Sports design on the inside is fourth. You know who I am, moves up on the outside in fifth. Then it's Amber Gold in six. Up on the outside, seventh goes Trebuchet. On the inside, go for home. They race by the three quarters in, 125 and 3, 28 and 3 for the third quarter. Gridiron has the lead. He's drifting off the pylons. Up the inside is Business Ethics on the outside of horses, JL King Victor. Now JL King Victor takes the lead. Business Ethics flying on the inside. Business Ethics takes the lead. On the outside, JL King Victor. Up the inside comes Sports Design. 16th of a mile to go. It's Business Ethics, and he's drawing away, coming to the wire. Sports Design up for second. Jail King Victor was third in 154 and 2. And they're off. That's Maple Lady going for the lead to her outside. Little Mischievous takes back toward the inside. Let me do it my way. Park Lane Powerful left, and it's Park Lane Powerful who takes the lead. 
Up on the outside, Let Me Do It My Way is second. Michelle Lee along the inside is third. Katie Bell is fourth, parked in fifth, eyeing the five hole and looking to get it will be Maple Lady. It's two and a half lengths to six, where Little Mischievous has dropped in by two and three quarters. Enchantress is seventh. Fox Valley Shaker is eighth. Friday the 13th is ninth. Brazoria Hanover's the trailer. First quarter, 28 and three. And it's Park Lane Powerful who has the lead by two lengths. Let Me Do It My Way is second. Michelle Lee is third by two and a half. Katie Bell is fourth. Maple Lady itching to come out of fifth. Right behind her, Little Mischievous is sixth. And now out of fourth, so first over Katie Bell. With room to advance on the inside is Enchantress, fourth over, Fox Valley Shaker, fifth over Friday the 13th, sixth over is Brazoria Hanover. Half and 57 and three, an easy 29 second second quarter for Park Lane Powerful, who leads it by a length and a half. Let me do it my way is second. Maple Lady, first over third. Michelle Lee saves ground in fourth. First over is Katie Bell. Now the second over into fifth goes Maple Lady. Third over in six, Little Mischievous. And now moving three wide is Maple Lady. Following three wide cover, Fox Valley Shaker. Her cover is Little Mischievous. Three quarters, 125 and four, 28 and one for the third quarter. Park Lane Powerful has the lead by a length and a half. Racing in second is Let Me Do It My Way. On the outside of horses, Maple Lady's trying to close. Up the inside is Michelle Lee. Splitting rivals, Katie Bell. Mid-stretch, the leader is Park Lane Powerful. Up the inside, Let Me Do It My Way. Here comes Michelle Lee. Splitting rivals, Little Mischievous flying on the outside. Four at the wire. 153 and three. And they're off. That's hot number going for the league. Kiss of life on the far outside fired out. HP's Nirvana left. She's unbelievable left. They race quickly into the first turn. First to the pylons, HP's Nirvana. Three deep is Kiss of Life. In between horses, hot number seeks a seat, gets one in front of She's Unbelievable, who is dropped in fourth. They head to the first quarter, and Kiss of Life on the outside takes the lead, yielding HP's Nirvana is second. Hot number is third. She's Unbelievable is fourth. First quarter, 28 seconds flat. Five lengths to the outside. Fight Cyber Comet taking over fifth and going to the pylons. This will leave Pen Emotion uncovered into sixth. With cover seventh, McArmageddon losing ground. She's all bad as eighth. Up on the outside, ninth, Cole's Candy. And behind her, Regalia's Riches is about 12 lengths off the lead. They head to the half. Kiss of Life has the lead up on the outside. Pen Emotion moves into second. HP's Nirvana on the inside, third. Second up, McArmageddon is fourth. Halftime, 57 seconds, 29 seconds for the second quarter. Kiss of Life, the leader by a half a length. On the outside in second, that's Penn Emotion. In the pocket, HP's Nirvana is third. McArmageddon second over in fourth. Hot numbers on the inside in fifth. She's unbelievable, third over in sixth. Her flow is not moving right now. Fourth over in seventh is Cyber Comet. Then on the inside, Coles Candy is eighth. Parked in ninth and starting to angle is Regalia's Riches. In the trailer, she's all bad. Three quarters, 125 and three, 28 and three for the third quarter. The leader by a length is Kiss of Life. Out for the drive is HP's Nirvana, and HP's Nirvana takes the lead. Kiss of Life is second. Gaining ground is hot number, followed in fourth by McArmageddon on the far outside. Regalia's Riches is coming on. Sixteenth of a mile to go. The leader is HP's Nirvana. Hot number second. It's going to be Kiss of Life third, tight for fourth. Maybe Cyber Comet over.